Hi everyone, welcome to Make It Happen. I'm Geoffrey. Today we're going to make something really simple but super useful for the shop. And this is a crosscut sled. So, this sled is something really nice to get. It is basically a jig that you put on your table saw and that allows you to make crosscut on a safe way and really easily and also with a better quality of cuts. I did this because I don't have a meter saw, so it's actually really nice to get uh, so that I can only use the table saw and that's it. Okay, enough talking and let's just see how I build it. Okay, so to build the sled, I needed one big panel, two long boards that will be glued on the side of the panel and I will use one to push the sled, and then two runners that I will glue under the panel to slide on the grooves of the table saw. Okay, let's just talk a little bit about safety now. I had to remove all the protection that prevented me to use the sled. So you can see at the end of the saw that one metallic part has been removed. Otherwise, the sled would come up against this metallic part. Then I removed the plastic protection. I am sorry I didn't film it, but it's just a few screws to remove. And finally, I removed the splitter. So here I want to make a special warning. It is really not recommended to remove any of this protection. They are there because they are actually useful. I wanted to keep the splitter to especially avoid kickbacks when I'm doing rip cuts. But the thing is that the splitter goes higher than the blade. So it means that I won't be able to cut dados with the splitter. So now I am extremely careful when I do a rip cut. I ensure myself that the two cut parts are not pinching each other and I don't stand behind the saw where the scrap could be projected. When I'm using the sled, then there are no problems. It actually keeps you quite safe if you keep your hands on the right place. So guys, remember that if you remove any protection, you need to be extremely cautious and aware about what you're doing. Then I decided to use hot glue to stick the top panel above the two runners. Unfortunately, the hot glue is a little bit too thick. So it was not a good idea to get it really flush. And I had to remove the glue with a utility knife then. I should have just used double-sided tape. Okay, so the first long board that will be glued on the front doesn't need to be glued accurately. On the other hand, the second one in front of that board will need to have a perfect 90 degrees angle with the cut that I will do with the circular saw right in the middle of the board. After a few first tries of the sled, it was not sliding that much well, so I decided to use some beeswax to make it slide a little bit better. 
and the difference was actually amazing. At first, I thought that I didn't adjust properly my cut, but finally, the beeswax made the difference and it was just perfect. Okay, now it's time to see how it works. Let's start with a simple crosscut. Then let's try to make a dado to see if we can do an assembly. And finally, let's try to make rabbits to make another assembly. Okay guys, so that's it for the build. I am really happy with that sled. As you could see in my previous video, I was using a jig that I made uh, with my circular saw. It was quite okay, but still not that much accurate. I used to have burst at the end of the wood after a cut. Now it's uh, really clean, really clear. I have like 90 degrees angles and yeah, I'm really happy with it. Okay, let's go for a little bonus. So here's another jig that I have done. So basically you just need to clamp a piece of wood with that two clamps. And then you have the back side of that jig, which is already flat thanks to my jointer. So I can just put that side against the fence of the table saw. So it allows me to get the side of a board flat without using the jointer. Actually, my jointer has not that much good quality and it is not really powerful. So I think that it can save me some time, for example, to make some panels if I get the two sides flat and parallel. So I can just make the assembly of one big panel with all the slats together and then finish it uh, to make it flat with like a hand tool, like a planner. I am also happy of the second jig that I've done. Uh, as you could see, you can just make a rip cut with that one, so you can go straight into the wood. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. These two items are really easy to do and super nice to get in a shop. It saves a lot of time and it's so cool. If you like the video and want to support me, then don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. I also have other videos that you can see if you're interested in. I will wish you a good week and until next time, don't forget that if you want something, you can just make it happen. Bye.